Hey everyone and welcome back to the happy heart. I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this cleaning video. My house is atrocious. I have been so busy. I've been kind of overwhelmed busy um, with Christmas and with getting everything done and I don't know why like I've just been that overwhelmed mom lately and I felt like even though it's late and it's nighttime I have to get this done and so I wanted to bring you guys along with me and let you know that it's okay that everything's a mess and it's not perfect um, you know that's not what Christmas is about and we should always be thankful for the reason for the season and if you think about it like Jesus was kind of born into a mess too so why we try to make our lives and our houses perfect I have no idea because you you have to know that that inn was not very clean was totally messy I'm sure they were in stress and chaos and you know he still came and that's why we celebrate so I just wanted to do this holiday clean and show you guys that you know even though my makeup is pretty much all gone I have bags under my eyes and I have been out shopping all day that I'm still trying and I'm still moving ahead so maybe that gives you some inspiration to try and move ahead because I know some days I just need that I was literally laying on my couch for about an hour and I said I was gonna take five minute break so I totally understand um, that sometimes you need some cleaning videos to give you some motivation. So come along with me, get my house back to normal, and oh, if you guys want to see a mess, you're in for it because it's bad. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and come along and get some cleaning motivation. So this wonderful bearded guy I know decided to help me clean and literally just kind of pushed me out of the way and started cleaning. and. I have to say he did a whole bunch and I think he was just feeling how overwhelmed and exhausted I was so oh, I am so lucky to have him in my life guys oh my gosh because oh mama needed a break and so I did a lot of camera work but really it was so nice to have the help tonight and mama doesn't turn down no help so it was really fun to clean with this bearded guy tonight. And if you haven't figured it out already, this is my hubby. I totally love it when he jumps in and helps, so he is hilarious. Look at this. So in this video, you'll see a lot of shifts kind of back and forth um, doing different things. Like while he was doing the dishes, I was flipping over the laundry and folding the laundry and things like that. Unfortunately, I just have the one camera, so um, I got as much footage as I could, but you'll see a lot of that kind of back and forth. Teamwork makes the dream work, though. Now we have all headed into the living room and usually I don't care if anybody really helps clean but I do care if everybody helps pick up. I know that doesn't sound like it makes a lot of sense but in my head I guess it does. I just feel like picking up is so tedious so I usually ask everyone to help um, when picking up and so that's why you'll see a lot of times in my cleaning videos that it's me and Ryan picking up. Um, on this day, all three of us were home, so everybody, you know, picked up, and everybody usually makes the mess, so hey, it happens. And then I kind of get on to cleaning, and um, 
really picking up more, but I get into more cleaning after we pick everything up. But I told you guys, I warned you, my house was pretty bad. love it when my husband vacuums. I have no idea why. I just can see vacuum lines. I feel like the carpet is cleaner. I don't know if he can just push harder. I don't know what it is. On this particular night though, he had to actually clean out the roller. And so I did what any good wife would do. And I sat on the couch and talked to him. And then I realized that it was kind of taking a long time. So I got up and I did some dusting while he was finishing cleaning out the roller. Then he got back to work um, vacuuming and he actually asked like, do you want me to vacuum? And he knows that I love when he vacuums. So I was like, yes, please. Uh, you don't have to ask me twice. And you'll actually see he's um, kind of picking stuff up off the rug. And right before that, when we were picking up, my son had spilled, um, there was a pencil box full of tacks that we had used to hang some Christmas decor and he spilled the whole box of tacks. And my husband sat there and could feel them while he was vacuuming. And then after that, he could still feel them in the rug. So he made sure that there was no tacks in the rug. And he, he did this for longer than the video looks like. And I was just so impressed that he sat there and um, did that for so long. I'm so thankful for him.
Okay guys, so I'm finally doing some work as you can see, but my husband just kept telling me not to, so I wasn't going to argue. I feel like he travels a lot and I don't have that much help on a daily basis, so I take all the help when I can get it. On this particular day though, I um, scrubbed down my countertops just with my sponge and then he actually went over with the Method Daily Granite and I love that stuff guys. If you're looking for a good granite cleaner that really polishes and shines your granite, oh my gosh, look no further. This one is amazing and I use it, I actually have granite in my bathroom and I use it there as well. So. Um, we kind of teamwork did. I went through and cleaned everything with the sponge and then he went back through with the granite cleaner.
tragedy has struck my house. It is awful. It is terrible. I was literally moving the tripod, took the camera off to charge it, and it just literally slipped out of my hands and the camera is broke. The filming camera I use all the time broke. Oh, it's so terrible. I. I'm just oh sick to my stomach. I couldn't even believe that happens because I will carry that thing everywhere. I mean, I carried it for years now, and I will drop my phone before I drop that camera. And I don't know how I did it today. I think it was just being tired, and you know, sometimes things happen and accidents happen. But you know, it was really funny because at the beginning of this video, I was talking to you guys about how I've been kind of overwhelmed and just exhausted and that it's okay because life's not perfect. And, you know, even Jesus was born into some kind of a, a little bit of a mess. I mean, really, like the, the guy was on the run from the beginning. And honestly, like it made me think how interesting that was that when I started this video out, I was talking about that and saying that, you know what, life isn't perfect and sometimes things happen and look at the end of the video. Life isn't perfect and sometimes things happen. But I am so glad that I can share these experiences with you and I really think it's important to remember that it's not about what happens to you. It's about what you do when the bad things happen, like how you handle it. Who do you go to? What do you do? And how do you um, present yourself to the world? And honestly, guys, like I, this is just terrible to me because I just feel like it's so much money, this camera. But in the grand scheme of things, this is not this big of a deal. And, you know, eventually I will get a new camera. I do have a backup camera, so I can't even be that upset about it. And I think sometimes you have to look at things in different perspectives. You really have to look at life in the positive and be thankful for what you have and not begrudge what you didn't get or what you think that you need that you know God's not giving you at this moment. So I just wanted to put some of that positivity out there in the universe and let you guys know that sometimes things don't go our way but it's what we do in those times that really show our character and show who we are. So I hope this gave you some clean motivation and I hope that this gave you some inspiration to just, um, you know, get up and start cleaning a room in your house. And even if you've had a bad day or things are a mess, life is worth living and you must be grateful for what you're given. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in my next brand new video. Bye for now.